What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to save your themes on a jailbroken device and save them to iCloud Drive so that you could use them on a non-jailbroken device. Or if you lose your jailbreak, you can still use these themes even though you're not jailbroken. I've done a ton of coverage on how to customize icons on iOS 14, no jailbreak. And uh, I think it's, it's really cool that, um, you know, we have a iOS 14 jailbreak coming and uh, I recommend you guys to save these themes just in case you lose your jailbreak. Like I said, you can still use these icons when you're not jailbroken, which is really, really cool. Now, this is all file system uh, uh, manipulation. Basically, we're just moving files around. It's, it's really quite simple. It might seem complex at first, but after you do it a couple of times, it's really a no brainer and very easy. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the uh, theme or the icons from the uh, folder system that it's in uh, to our iCloud drive. Now, if we go into the stock files app uh, here on iOS 14, I like to keep it in iCloud drive. That way it is usable across all of my devices. So essentially I'm gonna do uh, this theme trippy and uh, I will be able to use it on my 12 Pro Max or my iPad if I wanted to because it is in iCloud Drive, which is in the cloud essentially. So I hope that makes sense. And then within iCloud Drive, I do keep a folder here called Themes. And these are all icons that I can use uh, across all my devices. And what's handy is it's in iCloud Drive. So if I need to restore this phone or restore my 12 Pro Max, I don't lose any of this because it's up in the cloud. So I think that this is very, very slick. And as you guys can see, I am incredibly OCD with my themes folder. Um, this is basically all manually done. I have all of the names of the themes and I even have, for the most part, I have uh, the creator's uh, Twitter handle or where it's from. So I know where I got it. So very, very organized here. Now, like I said, we're gonna be using uh, files uh, to do this. So Filesa is available um, in Cydia and it's basically a iOS system, a file system browser. It is different than the Files app. It gives you more access. Uh, it basically gives you access to the entire iOS file system. And that's how we're going to transfer the icons over to iCloud. So what we're gonna do is open up Filesa here and I am backed all the way up at the main uh, folder here. Now I'm gonna show you how to navigate to your themes. So basically you just swipe to the bottom here and you go to library and then you swipe down again and you will see the themes folder. And just like that, you have access to all your themes. Now a quick tip for you guys, if you're gonna do this multiple times, uh, and this way you're not jumping around your file system a million times, you can favorite sections in Filesa. So that's what I recommend. As you can see, there's the little favorites. And as you can see, I have a bunch of sections favorited. I actually have themes in here twice because this is the second take on this video, but um, what you can do is click the little plus button and add it to your favorites. And that way, if you're somewhere else in the file system, you don't have to navigate to it manually by backing up all the way out of all these sections to go all the way back to where it was when you can just literally jump between themes, you can jump between your library, you can jump between your documents, and that just makes life a lot easier uh, to get around places. But anyways, we're back into themes. Now in this section, themes are broken down into different parts for the most part. Uh, as you can see, there's AEs, there's the main theme, there is uh, badges, there's a bunch of stuff. So like I said, I'm gonna do Trippy for example, and Trippy is towards the bottom because it's spelled with a T. So here is Trippy.theme, Trippy.special.theme, and then I believe this one's called Trippy Icons Missing Bundle IDs.themes. Uh, so these all have icons in them. So if you want all of the icons, you will have to do each one of these separately. Um, don't save anything like a badge or anything like that. You don't really need the badges because you can't customize badges on a non chill broken uh, iPhone. Uh, this is mainly just for the icon images because on uh, iOS 14, you can make custom icons without a jailbreak. And I've done a bunch of coverage on this. So if you guys need to know how to do that, just check my previous videos or something. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the main theme here first. As you can see, we have two sections here. There's bundles and then there's icon bundles. Uh, don't worry about the bundles. This is all uh, kind of like little things like the hour hand or the minute hand on the clock app 
or page dots or you know stuff like that or settings icons you don't need any of the bundle stuff you need the icon bundles now what you can do is go in here and uh, for some reason on iOS 14 the preview images here are not working properly this is not the images if I click on them you can see these are actually the icons of this theme so the previews are kind of broken so I think files need to be updated uh, but what we can do is we can move this entire folder and what we're going to do is click edit in the upper right select on the folder and then we're going to click more and we're going to create a zip so create a zip file so it's going to compress all of those icons into a zip and now from here we can transfer this to our regular files app to iCloud Drive so go ahead and select on it click more and then go open in and then you can swipe down and you see save to files so go ahead and save to files and like I said I like to do this to iCloud Drive because it is in the cloud so I can access these icons across any iOS device essentially. So once I save it to iCloud Drive, I can immediately go onto my non-jailbroken 12 Pro Max and start using those icons with like icon board or shortcuts or whatever I wanna do. So iCloud Drive is definitely the way to go. So what I like to do is uh, create a folder for themes and I am super OCD like I explained earlier. Uh, but what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna create a new folder for themes so click the plus folder in the upper right and then just name this folder whatever the theme is. And then you can do uh, like how, how I am OCD. Um, oops, I want a space in there so it looks good. And then we'll do at themes on fire, just like that. That's the creator of this theme. Uh, so basically I've made the theme folder. I can click done. And now this zip file is going to save to that folder. Just click save. And now what we can do is basically repeat. So now that we've transferred that, we can actually go ahead and just delete this zip because you do not need it there. I would just make sure you're keeping your file system clean as you're doing this as well. Don't make it a big cluster. Uh, we're going to back up. We're going to go into the special icons. So as you can see, this just has the icon bundles. And again, if we go in here, you can see all the icons. Yes, this theme has Baby Yoda, just so you guys know, which is freaking cool. So again, rinse and repeat, edit, click the icon bundles, more, create zip, go click edit again, click on the zip, click more, open in, swipe to the bottom, save to files, go to our themes, go to Trippy, the new one that I made. I already have this theme here, so keep that in mind. You guys are going to see it twice once I get down to the T's. So I have Trippy Gum Road, which I purchased earlier, but here's Trippy, uh, the new file folder I made. So let's go ahead and just save that zip there and we'll keep both. And now we can go out of files. Uh. Of course, I have one more section to do to get all of the icons, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Go into files. And again, we're in iCloud Drive in my themes folder. Just swipe to the bottom or to wherever your theme is. As you can see here is Trippy at Themes on Fire. And then here are the two zip files. So all you gotta do is click on the zip and it'll unzip it. And then we'll do the other one, number two, click on that and unzip that. And now we can delete the zip folders. Okay, so apparently it's still unzipping or doing something in the background. Let's try the top one, here we go. If you try to do this a little too soon while it's still unzipping and doing stuff, it will give you that error. Um, but if we go into the icon bundles now, as you can see, here are all of the images of that theme and I have it in iCloud Drive. So I can instantly now go to my non-jailbroken uh, 12 Pro Max and I can start using these icons with icon board and start creating a setup or using them uh, you know, as a setup or whatever I wanna do with them. So it's very, very cool. Um, make sure you're using this for personal use only guys. Uh, do not pirate these themes. This is someone's work of art. This person spent uh, countless hours creating this. So do not pirate these themes. I, I cannot you know stress that enough that if you pirate stuff, you're basically gonna kill off this creator and uh, he won't make themes anymore. And why would you wanna do that? Especially when the theme costs $1.99. So personal use only guys, do not pirate this stuff. Use this. Um, as a tutorial so that you can have access 
to the theme, no jailbreak, or just keep a file of it. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.